Welcome to this quick video on using freeze panes in Microsoft Excel. So this is a really nice little function that you can use if you've got a load of data on your screen like me. And then when you scroll down, you lose the column headers. So you don't know what information you're looking at. And you can do this with column headers and you can do this with rows as well. So there's a couple of different options you can play around with. But just for example, if I scroll down there, you can see at the moment my column headers disappear but freeze panes will help me fix this. So I always know what data I'm looking at. So if I go to the view tab in the ribbon, then just towards the right hand side, you have three options. You've got freeze panes, freeze the top row and freeze the first column. So you've got three ways of doing this. You can either use freeze the top row and that will just leave the column headers there because that's the first row on my Excel spreadsheet. And you can see as I scroll down, it's all kept there so I know exactly what data I'm looking at. Then I'm going to click on unfreeze the panes because that button, that first one just changed. So I'll take away that and it's now back to normal. You can also freeze the first column. So if I press that one, you'll see when I scroll down that I can, I'm losing my top row this time. But if I scroll across, that column A is always there. So that might be useful as well if you've got some initial like name data or order number data or, or anything like that and you scroll across to see more detail but you want to keep that first bit of information. The last option if you wanted a bit more flexibility so let me just unfreeze that is I can select anywhere in the data that I want to freeze so I can have some of the um, top rows and also some of the columns freezing if I want to. So I'm just going to click in Taylor, of Chris Taylor. So I'm in B4 to freeze the pane. So I'm going to click on a specific cell when I do this. And then rather than freezing specifically, I'm going to just click on freeze panes. And that's locked a few things down for me. So if I scroll down now, you can see that Taylor's disappeared, but everything above Taylor is always there. And what if I do, if I scroll across now, you'll see Chris is there, but anything that's Taylor or to the right is going to disappear as I start scrolling across. So whatever cell I select, anything above that or to the left of that will be frozen. And as I scroll down or across, that information will stay, but the rest will disappear. So that's a really useful option if you want to specify where you want to freeze if you don't just want to freeze the top row or the first column. So have a go at those options. Please do like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like to see next.